What up, what up? This is your boy Checo. This is your boy Noi. What up? And this is Compass Unfiltered. Thank you guys for listening, for watching. Make sure you guys follow all of our social media. Subscribe and like. And make sure you go rate us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Make sure you drop a comment on YouTube. Uh, like and subscribe. Yes, sir. Enjoy the episode. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I get that, bro. Um, what kind of music you're into, bro? Music, honestly, I'm mostly into corridos, like old school and new school, anything pretty much. But sometimes I'm just on my Spotify Spotify playlist, and I'm like, damn, I don't like that shit. Shit so, does not sound good. I like I like anything. Doesn't matter, rock, country. What kind of the old school stuff that you like? Old school corridos. Well, mm, what's, what's kind of specifically, right? Yeah. What do you see? What do you What do you mean by old school? What's old school for you? Old school, chalino, like okay. those old like banda, la banda sinaloense, stuff like that. You know, like. When those people sing, they have something to their voice to it, you know, like they actually sing. They have like a rhythm in their voice. They have like their voice flows with the music. And most people nowadays, I don't think they're singing. They're just talking, in my opinion. Nowadays, when you hear people singing, that's not even singing. They're just talking. Like they don't have no flow in their voice. They just use autotune. But back in the day, you would actually have to like have a voice. You actually be like gifted. Like Chaleno Sanchez. You know how like his voice was like he said that he didn't like it, right? He didn't he, like his own voice. Yeah, well, that nigga sound good. Sounds fire. I agree. Yeah. I'm Who are fan. some of like the the newer newer ones that you're into? Newer ones, um, Los Gemelos de Sinaloa. I like, I like the I like their music because like it gets you like very like you feel up, you know, you don't feel like down. And it's very like positive music. It makes you feel more like how could I say it? You're in like. Let's say like you get out of work and you put like Los Gemelos de Sinaloa, you feel more like you're in a vibe, you know. Very positive music, you could say that. It talks yeah. about like ganado dinero and all that stuff. Like I don't even know that much Spanish, but just from listening to it, it's just very positive music. Because sure. you know how like Mexicans like talking about like los corridos, about the dinero, the rancho type shit, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah progressing yeah. in life. For sure. During that time, is that where you learn how to play guitar, bro? Or or you're starting to learn. Where did you pick up the the guitar? Honest, a, a couple of your posts. You were you were playing guitar. Oh yeah, about that. I think I just saw it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where I saw it. I just liked it, and I feel like it was just like a coping or like a phase during that COVID thing. Because I'm not even into it no more. Because that whole period of time during the lockdown, that was the only thing I liked. I feel like I only liked it just because everyone else was doing it. I don't even like it no more. I don't like doing it. Like that whole guitar thing. I don't like it in my opinion. I don't like it no more because like it's like so tedious. It's a pain in the ass. I just don't like it. It's like it makes me uncomfortable. It's like you have to know like you have to be precise with it. Yeah. And it's not even fun no more for me. It's like oh you so because you were picking it up pretty well, bro. Especially yeah. for the amount of time that that you were yeah. doing it. Like I I would see like the the videos that you would post, man, and it was like definitely improvement. Like it wasn't like it sounded bad or anything like that. Yeah, I like, thought you was doing. Yeah, you. I thought you were doing a hell of a job, bro. And you don't like it anymore at all? I mean, that's, I mean, obviously it's an instrument, so it would definitely take some sacrifice and hard work to learn it. Yeah, you could say that. Honestly, you have a point. It's a lot to learn. It's like you have to sacrifice a lot. You have to actually put work in. I don't like it because, like, I don't know. I just don't like it no more. I, it's like I have the photography, I have the guitar. The photography, I already know, every, I already know like, what I'm doing, but with the guitar, I just don't have fun with it. Just put it. I don't have fun with it no more. It's yeah. it's more of a burden. It's not like how I used to be when I first started doing it. I loved it. I was like, holy shit. I feel happy when I do it but back then. But now I'm just like, I don't like it no more. It doesn't feel the same. And is it is it more so because you don't like it or is it like less people doing it or it's just not a thing anymore um, between your your uh, your classmates, your crew, whoever you hang out with? Is, is that why or? I feel like it's just because like during that time, I was talking to like, some girls and I would play songs for them and shit and they would just like be a bogus as fuck to me bro they're like why are you playing that guitar doesn't even sound good or yeah just like stuff like that and then like I think the breaking point was probably two times the first time this one ex I had we only lasted two months it wasn't really a relationship she never liked me at all you know it was just more like she just dated me because she like wanted to okay so she was probably um one that kind of made you not want to play anymore then at least that was one of the reasons yeah it's just like 
she never really liked me, she said. She said, I never liked you. And I was like, damn, that shit broke my heart. Because I went to her house and her whole family was there. I was playing music for her and shit. I was snapping the guitar. I know I was playing really fast. I was doing good. And I was like, damn. Like, her family's supporting me. She's supporting me. She's smiling. Like, damn, I'm actually like, with the guitar matching, making people happy. At that time, I was like, holy shit. What if I should practice more? I could have to have like a grupo and go out. And then like, after like that, she went straight up with me. She's like, oh, I don't like you. Like, I don't wish we break up. And I was like, damn, I feel like that was the breaking point. For, for you to stop doing the guitar thing. Yeah, it was that. It's not just like that, like, oh, I liked her. It was just like, I never played in front of people before, like ever. That was like the first time. And I feel like, damn. And like, even if we never broke up, no, even even if we did break up and then never went to her house, I, I think I would have kept playing for a while. Not stop. So it sounds like you associated like a bad experience with your guitar. Yeah, pretty much. Sounds kind of cringe, right? Be honest. No, I mean, it, it sounds like you're associated your breakup and that bad experience with your, your guitar. And I mean, it sounds like that that's what caused the, the issue there. Right? Yeah. But I don't think you should let it. I mean, if you don't enjoy it, you don't enjoy it. So it's no. not like we want you to keep going if you don't want to do it. No. Because um, right now with, uh, with what you're doing with the photography, bro. Um, yeah, like I said, I looked through your page, bro. And, like that shit is dope as fuck, bro. Like the videos that you're doing, the photography that you're doing, and it seems like you're enjoying it. Um, how did you get into that, bro? Um, it's a long story, a really long story, but about the guitar thing, about that, it's just like I don't enjoy no more. I try picking it up, but it just doesn't feel the same no more. Like I try to like play, I try to learn. It's just like such a burden to me. I don't like it at all, and it just sucks because like my mom spent like. A lot of money to buy me a new guitar in a case and i was like looking back i feel retarded for doing that because that's her money and i can't do nothing about it i don't even play it and just sitting there and like she wastes that much money on it but at the same time like damn my mom bought it for me because she loves me for you sure know? i'm still grateful for it that's why i don't want to sell it and just leave it there and make sure. anything about her like she loves me cares about me right you know for sure for sure but what got you into uh, photography then, bro? Um, you just because of, we just wanted to pick up something else since you um, kind of gave up on the guitar thing. Oh yeah, about the photography, I think I don't remember really how it happened. It's just like I don't know where I got the idea from. I just like I don't really I don't remember where I got the idea from at that time. I was texting a girl from Cali, and I, looking back, that she's fucking stupid. Why the fuck would I be texting someone from that far and show like? You should name it that, that. And I was like, no, nah, that's a bad idea. I'm like, how that sounds. And then she was like, you should name it something with moments. And I was like, why? She was like, oh, there's a lot of white people out here that have that name, moments. And I was like, oh, for real? And I thought about it. And after that, she stopped talking to me. We were like talking for like only a few days, but it was whatever. And then I actually thought, I started thinking about it. I was like, what if I start my own like photography business? And I was like, I don't know, at the time, I just kept looking at other pages, and I know I noticed how there was a lot of wedding photographers. That would, their last, like, the the name of their brand would be Moments, and I was like, what if I put Lalo's Moments? Because that's something different. Lalo's Moments, because, like, I know a lot of people, like, their brand, like, the name, it's either shot by, or it's something like that. It's like, uh, they use, like, a little term in the beginning. And I was like, I've never seen no one in the whole like Latino community in general, just like the photography community of cars or trucks or like anything. I've never seen no one's like like brand name be like moment something. I've seen a couple of people on Facebook have like wedding pages. Like I said in the past, I've seen it like something wet moments, you know, but like I've never seen no like Mexican like photographer that had moments in their brand name. I feel like I'm like the only one. I gotcha. don't want to say it, but I think I'm the only one. Gotcha. What do you focus on uh, picture-wise? Just trucks? No. Car shows, truck clubs, or what? I'm focusing trucks, cars, anything I like, anything I just, anything I get hired to do, I'll do it. Um, Photo-wise, photography-wise, I know what I'm doing. I'm like 100% capable on what to do. I know what I'm doing. I know how to edit. But video wise, like struggle, I don't have the right equipment to do it. Like I could do some short videos on my phone, right? But if I want to record on my camera and take that out, it's still a lot of work, you know. 
Yeah. What was the first camera you bought? Mm. Or what are you using now? The camera I'm using right now? Yeah. Um, I'm using a Canon T7 with a 50 millimeter lens. And I didn't bought the, I didn't buy the camera. It was gifted to me by my family. I oh, didn't even know. Awesome. Yeah, I know, man. I'm really grateful about that. I didn't even know they were gonna give it to me, man. Like surprisingly, they so it was oh your birthday God. or something or what? Nah, it wasn't my birthday. It was a party. My, almost all my family came from Chicago, and I was like, "What the hell?" They never done that in years. They never came out here in years and to Aurora, you know. And they surprised me with a camera. It was in a box and everything. I was like, "Holy shit! There's no way." And I was messing around with it. And I felt so happy. And then the day they left in the morning, I the first thing I went to do, I didn't check my phone or nothing. I went to the box of the camera and I opened it, and I started messing with it. And there was a moment where I realized, holy shit, I don't know what I'm doing. It's like you want it, but it's like a whole new world of like, you don't know what you're doing, you know? Yeah. I was overwhelmed, but at the same time, I was fantasized about like, holy shit, I could do so much with a camera, more than a, like a phone. And it's like, I can control everything about it. And the quality is going to be so much better. And no, and I was like, holy shit, I know this is going to be like a new phase of my life. You know, I'm like, I'm going to be more professional now, but. At that time, I didn't know how to properly use the camera. I was just like messing around with it. And then when I actually got the chance to go to a photo shoot, I was shooting in, I think, portrait mode or landscape. I wasn't using manual. You know what that is, right? Manual settings on the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where you control everything. I didn't know how to use it. Because at that time, I was like, why do I need to use that shit? I don't know how to use it. But now I know how to use it. I know everything about it. Not everything, but I know how to control it. For sure. I know how to like make the portrait like the person or truck stay in focus. I know how to blur out the background and all of that stuff. So your your family knew that you were into taking pictures, and that's the reason why they surprised you with the camera. I think so, because my mom would always tell them about it. So I'm assuming and they probably followed you on your page and all that, right? Yeah, because my cousin she follows me, and my other cousins who follow me too, and I think they just wanted to surprise me with it. Well, that's super cool, man. That's, that's dope. dope, bro. Yeah, I understand all that, bro. Like, you know, how you get something new and then you just want to um, try it out and try to learn the the most you can out of it. Um, but it's the, what gets me is also like, because you have you have ADD, right? We talked about that. And if you're okay for me to say that. Yes, yeah, um, I'm good, bro. And um, how you were, how was, I was asking you before, it's like, does it like, does it calm you down at all? But you said like when you just, something kind of makes you like focus in, right, on that. So it, um, I feel like, it it does uh, bring that out out of you. Um, how do you feel about it? Like, um, does it make you focus? Like the whole like working on pictures, working on editing. It makes me feel like I'm in touch with it. I can like do anything with. I feel really focused. It's not like I'm in school and I have to like. There's a certain way to do it. I can do it however the fuck I want to do it. If I want it to be perfect light level, I can control everything about it. Like my editing videos pictures instagram all that i can control it if i want to make it look professional i can make it look professional as i want if i want to make it look spice as fuck i can do i can make it as spice as fuck as i want to i feel really controlled if i feel like i can like actually like control it you feel me it's not like i lose focus with it like it's like i notice all the little imperfections and like ways i can make it better i notice I, I can notice the ways I can make it better and the ways that make it worse. And I can notice also the ways that I can improve. And it's like the lighting, just how it looks and like just the definition of the picture itself. I can control that. And I have like the knowledge to be like, that's too high. That's too low. Stuff like that. I have like an eye for it. For sure. Is there like a certain... um photo shoot or, or a certain session that you did where you're like damn like now i feel good about this like now i kind of know what i'm doing um because uh, like i said I, with uh, when i check out your page man and, and you have a decent following uh, i think the the truck thing has to has a lot to do with it as well you know people are really into trucks and whatnot but um is there like a certain uh a day that you that you went out and you did photos and you're like damn like now ahora si le entiendo más ahora si ya le agarré honestly eh? To answer that question, I can't say exactly when, but then there was a moment in time where I was like, holy shit, I don't know what I'm doing. I think that was, I don't remember at all. I think it was just like a photo shoot or I think, I, actually, I remember it was at my house. I was messing around with the camera and I was like, holy shit, that's how you do it. And I started laughing and like 
crying, bro. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't even know that shit. And it's so simple. It's not even that complicated, you know? Uh, I went from not knowing how to control the light on the camera to knowing how to mess with all the settings. That's dope, bro. Yeah. And how do you feel like right now, bro, that you you have a, a following on your Instagram and like and it's been growing? And um, was there like a certain uh, video or photo that you're like, damn, like all these people are following me now, man. Like now I have all these likes. It was a video from um, Rockford, a truck event. It was a crew cab. You see it in my page. It says Thought Patrol. That's the caption. It's a crew cab, GMC Sierra. It's like one of the newer oh, body styles. And it I says, it. it has like a bunch of like stickers. And it says, it's their decal, like vinyl wrap. I'm not sure if it was a wrap or whatever. It says Thought Patrol. And that went viral. I almost, I almost got a million views off that shit. And I thought it was funny as hell. And But also, I thought it was cool because it was a nice burnout. And it was very really smooth and professionally recorded. It's not just like something I record off my phone on Snapchat. It's like something that looks well done you feel me and i feel like that's what gets viral shit that's well done or like something that looks like not just eye catching it's just like i don't know something about that video just got attention of so much people i just feel like because the first thing you see is the truck it says stop patrol second thing is doing a burnout and the video's not even that long so like it's like your your eyes are catched to it but you want to see every little detail of it i feel like that's what got people's attention and like I have viral pictures some once in a while, every once in a while. I get like a thousand likes, two hundred likes, one hundred likes. I don't really care as long as the picture looks good. That's so they have a million views pretty much on, on that uh on that clip then for the the one that, that went burnout. viral, that burnout one. The top of your truck, I think I almost got I got almost a million, but I had eight hundred thousand views on that truck that video. I was like, holy shit, what the hell that means? Like Was your phone crazy. blowing up, bro? Bro. Holy shit, bro. Toda la escuela. Boom, 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 boom. All day, bro. Also about that. I made a reel on my other account. It was like some trucks at Delta. That shit got like 700 to like 600,000 views. That shit was blowing up my other account. I was like, fuck. Why did I record that on that account? Why could I not have posted it on Lalo's Moments? I could have had like that trend video. I could have had two videos like would have gotten a million, but I didn't. I don't know why. To this day, I still cannot replicate that one video I made on that other account. But I feel like I could. I just need to like. I don't know. I feel like I can do it. I feel like it just stems from like short videos. Short videos, the one that get viral, in my opinion. The reels. Yeah, the reels. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you have a TikTok as well? Yeah, I'm still working on it. I'm working on it right now. I'm gonna post TikTok for this next summer and whenever I get like a chance to get something cool. But I feel like anything can go viral on reels. Anything it doesn't matter how long the video is. As long as long as it's like something that is interesting or something that's like i feel like your audience is unreal you can get any audience you want i feel like this could probably get out there anything doesn't matter it's not just trucks you can put anything on instagram reels as long as it's like if it's good quality and if it's like interesting so whatever you're like like brand is talking about let's say cooking what if you post like a really good recipe for like tacos or some shit that shit could go viral or like let's say you post like a very like badass video of cars that's gonna go viral, obviously. But I think it just matters on hashtags or like if it's just like a very like simple video, not even complicated, like something funny too. You know, it's pretty much like TikTok. But all I gotta say, I just feel like anything can go viral. It doesn't matter for sure. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, yeah, I, I hear that, bro. We struggle with that, man, with the whole TikTok thing. Sometimes we're like, man, does the hashtag doesn't does it, does it even matter? I'm like, yeah, it does, you know. And then like, but like, I don't know. I feel like for like TikTok, it's just like random whatever video actually does kind of hit or or does well. Um, right. At least for us, man. Or we're just not doing it right. So maybe we maybe Lotto's got to do all the. Yeah. I feel <laughs> all like the we, reels. St- we started off good, dude, because on the first couple ones we had a couple five thousand, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we didn't get a million like Lalo. No, we didn't get a million. <laughs> Nah, we ain't um, get a million, bro. Yeah. So right now with, with Lalo's uh photography uh moments, um what's what's the goal, bro? Like what do you what do you want to get out of it? You know what I mean? Like obviously money, right? I mean, I think everybody wants to make money, but or is that even a thing for you? Or you just wanna like get your pictures out there and be known? Or what's the what's your goal? And it's big, man. I just feel like my goal is to I want to leave a legacy, you know, it's like, I want to leave a legacy of like, I mean, you don't know what if Instagram doesn't exist in 10 years from now, you know, I may go unknown, but at least my goal is to, I don't even know my goal. I feel like my, 
Okay, I've just been thinking about it. My goal is to, uh, I want to provide like a thing for people. I want to provide a, how can I say? I want to provide a, I want to build a community of people that can bring together, that can bring together more people. Like I want people to be able to bring their families, their kids, whoever to like any of my truck meets and be safe. You know, I want to bring, I want to build a community of people, not just people that like trucks, more people. I want to be able to help people. I want to be able to help and give advice to people. I want to be able to inspire people, to believe in people. I want to be able to help people because I know some people don't like showing emotion. I want to be able to like be like, damn, like I want to be able to inspire people. I want to be able to help people because I want to be able to like just like, I want to be that guy that inspires people. For sure. But at the same time, it's like no one's perfect. Everyone has their own flaws and like, I think way too many people try to be perfect. I think you should just keep doing your own thing and eventually you're going to get it. I see, you know, it's like, I want to be that guy that people look at and be like, damn, he inspires me. You know, he's young as hell and I could do the same thing too, you know? I hope that someone's out there and feels that way too. And I hope that I inspire people. You have anybody that uh, that inspire inspires you? Like, is there anybody that you look up to and you're like, all right, this... That's what I want to be like, or this is who I'm looking up to right now. And if you don't, you could just say, no, I'm not right now. I don't. But do you? Um, I look up to like, I look up to static. You guys know about the truck YouTubers, right? Truck YouTubers? Yeah. No. No, no I'm, I'm not too familiar with them, bro. Is the mic too close to my mouth? I have it like this. No, you're good. You're good. Does no, it matter no. how close it is or no? You're fine. You're fine, bro. Sure. Yeah. 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 Oh. Mm, I was gonna say truck YouTubers. You were on truck YouTubers. Truck. Yeah, the people from Texas and California. I'm like, damn, they have their own brand. They have like a, they have a culture. They build a culture off their content. They have a community. I want that too. I look up to. I don't look up to anyone. You know, I just see them and they inspire me. And I'm like, damn, I could do it. I'm slowly building a community. I'm slowly building up my temple. You know, I'm slowly building up my house brick by brick. You know, I feel like I could do it. I feel like by the time I'm 18, I'm probably going to not. I think by the time I'm 18, I'm going to be bigger than I thought I was. Of course. So, truck. So, just I don't want to look dumb over here on, on, on our YouTube. So, <laughs> truck up? YouTubers, you've been just people that make videos on YouTube about their truck clubs, right? That's Or is truck YouTube's a channel? No, it's like. Or they're, truck YouTubers. You're just talking in general, right? In general, no. It's, they're, yeah, the, actually, you got that right. You got it 100% right. There's people that just record their truck like, oh, I got this engine. I put this on my truck. I got this drop. I got these rims. Like, basic shit like that. You got that 100% right. But what I meant by truck YouTubers is um, the influencers, the people that have, like, their own brand. They have merch. They have, they have truck meets. You know, people that have, like, an actual brand, like a brand of, like, so give us one brand so we kind of know what you're talking about. A brand, let's say, um, Static Leo or Freddie LXL. Okay, so those are two people that you would you would consider looking up to. Like you're like, oh, this they or have that inspire more. you, right? Yeah. Okay, got I, it. I think I didn't say the the second guy right. That's okay. No, that's fine. Well, it doesn't matter. We don't know them anyway. Yeah, I don't, so I mean, yeah, we I just I just wanted to know what yeah. you were talking yeah, about yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Because like, people are gonna watch this video, gonna be like, Lalo, that's not how you say. It. I'm like, bro, I don't know. I don't even, I don't know how to properly say. It. I don't really remember it, but I just know him by that name because he had like his own like business you know like his own content right so do you want to stick around like the, the the truck thing bro or like could you see this also going like maybe like taking pictures for like celebrities bro or like, maybe even doing movies is that something that you even thought about or or is that like too too far out there that you haven't even thought about that um honestly i feel like i could do that i feel like i could do more than cars but right now i'm just trying to build my community so by the time I'm ready for something that big. I could show Hollywood, hey, I have a community. I know what I'm doing. It's not just like unprofessional stuff. It's really well made. So I could show them, well, this kid know what he's doing. He has a community. And he's a good video ph videographer and a good photographer. You know, I want to show Hollywood that I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. And if they don't, at the same time, fuck Hollywood. I already have my own thing going on. You know, I have... You guys, you know, I have my community. I have people I could tell. I could, like, I could go on a podcast again, you know? For sure. And it's, like, little stuff like that. Little small people like that around here, bro, that I am, like, damn. 
you guys, you know, I could like go on another podcast again in the future and like just like just talk, you know, like little stuff like that, bro. It's like I don't want to be famous because like, there's a lot of downsides to it, but there's a lot of good stuff to it. But at the same time, I want to expand my photography to more just than just my page. I want to become like an actual director eventually, you know, but at the same time, I don't want to because I feel like they're going to be like, this kid is so unprofessional. He's not like professional because there's a lot of like well, magazines you, out there yeah. for cars yeah. and stuff. You definitely don't want to say fuck Hollywood. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we want to make it too. <laughs> what? Nah. nah, I just messing with you, bro. Um, But like now that you're like into photography and you're like into video editing, like now when you like maybe see like a movie, you see a commercial, do you kind of dissect it a bit? Like, do you look at it and you're like, man, he could have done this. Like, bro, I go fucking, that? Yeah, bro. Yeah. I, I did All that right, shit. Bro. I did, I've been doing that shit lately, bro. Like, I'm doing... Am I screaming too? Am I loud? No, you're good, bro. You're good. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Well, you can hear yourself, right? Or yeah, no? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can hear myself. You're good. You're, yeah, I you don't, you don't, gotta, you yeah. don't have to move it, bro. You're good. Yeah, bro. Holy shit, bro. I did, I'm just worried that that wasn't here. Right? Oh, you're, you're good. good. You're good, bro. <laughs> no worries, bro. Yeah, holy shit, bro. But like, I just realized that I be, I be dissecting that shit, bro. I'm like, I look at like ads. I'm like, he could have done this. I could have done that. And or sometimes like, damn, that was nice as hell. For sure. It's crazy, bro. Like, all that stuff that goes into it. Like, I know how it works now. And yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of the same way. Like, just because, like, I do the editing for the for the podcast. Now, I'm I'm not as good as you, but, you know, I do look at stuff now, and, and it's just as the, I guess it speaks to me, you know, like, or I can, I guess, show an appreciation for it, uh, all the work that does um, go behind it, just because I know, like, I, we talked before, uh, how long it takes for me to just do a video uh, for the pod. So... Now that you're doing it, like that's funny, man. That you like you look at it and you're like, oh man, this is uh, I could have done this, I could have done that, or or you appreciate it more. Uh, honestly, I would say that once you know more about it, you can appreciate it more to what it is actually. It's like video editing and like photography. It's existed for like thousands of years. No, actually, no. Photography itself has existed for thousands of years, but the act of like of being of like a digital creator and like producing content. Once you like actually get into it, you appreciate it more. You're like, damn, that's crazy how that guy did it. You know, it's like how you edit your videos and it takes you that long. And I edit my picture and it takes me that long. And I can look at other people's videos, their pictures, their podcasts, and I'm like, damn, that's well edited, but that could have took them so long. You don't know what goes behind that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure, bro. Yeah. Um, I think at this point we're we're probably going to start wrapping it up and whatnot. Yeah, for sure, um, man. Um. But uh, it's the, I do want you to, I mean, man, you don't need our followers, but you got 10,000 over there and growing. But I want you to plug in all your stuff, man. Well, I know you have Instagram. You got TikTok. You got anything else, bro, like as far as uh, like social media? Um, I got TikTok. I got Facebook, but I don't use it. I'm going to use it. I'm still working on that. I have Instagram, Lalo's Moments. I have TikTok. It's Lalo's Moments. I have YouTube, Lalo's Moments. Go follow me on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. And Facebook, it's Lalo's Moments on, on all apps. Go ahead, check me out. Let me know if you want a photo shoot. Just message me or call me. And you're willing to, uh, as far as for like photo shoots, you go pretty much anywhere, right? I mean, as long as the money's there, you're there, right? Um, honestly, or, like, are you trying to stay local? I stay local, but if I have the opportunity for someone to pick me up, or if I have a ride or transportation, I'm definitely down to go anywhere, you know. But as long as it's in state, you know, because like. I'm still young, you know. I have to ask my mom for that if I'm going to go far, you know. Yeah, hey, you're only yeah. 16, bro. Like I told you, man. I thought you were older, man. But hey, you're you're a young buck, man. Um, but yeah, for sure. Go check out Lalo. It's the on his. I'll tag you know, and I'll and I'll uh, link everything in, in the video, bro. That way, people could go and follow you, and um, they could reach out to you, and uh, that way they can see your work, bro. Because like I, I'm telling you, bro, like it's dope as fuck, bro. Like I, I went through your page. Um, I know you're doing numbers, you know, especially with the videos, like your, your pictures, bro. All that shit looks dope as fuck. And that's why I asked you, um, hopefully Lalo will be uh, helping us out on Compass Unfiltered. You know, um, we already talked about, you know, as they, so you'll be seeing Lalo um, with uh, with the podcast, uh, hopefully some vlogging and whatnot, like we talked, bro. So you know, that's what's up, bro. Um, yes, sir. Thanks so much for coming, bro. Anything else you want to say to the peoples? Especially your 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 followers, man, who yeah. are going to be watching this, bro. To the people that are watching this, I just want to say that I hope I inspire you and that you don't need to be perfect, but you should follow 
any dream you have. Don't let anyone stop you because at the end of the day, at least you wake up in the morning and that you should never let anyone stop you because at the end of the day, you have to keep going no matter what. And I hope I inspire people. You should never give up. Follow what you love. And if you can't, if you don't have that, try finding something that you think is interesting. Whatever, it doesn't matter because you never know. It could be the next big celebrity or you could be popular in your own area for doing. You could be that guy. You want to be that guy, you know. You could do anything and be that guy, you know. It's possibilities are endless, you know. It doesn't matter. Yes, sir. 100%, bro. And well, with that being said, thank you guys for listening for watching. It's time for all the time, please. Deuces.